Thank you. Councilmember Moran? I don't have to touch anything, right? I just wanted to You're make up. sure I was on um, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> before I start speaking. Um, I guess this isn't really a, a, a question directly, directed directly at you, Chiefs, but um, I'm imagining that perhaps you talked to Ross Swanson and I uh, completely understand the need, obviously, to have uh, radio communication, but I'm really confused as to why nobody picked this up before while this project was going on. That strikes me as really strange. Actually, it has been. It was in the initial design uh, throughout the whole system. What we ran into was that, the, in particular, the, why this was carved out of the project. It was originally going to be kind of in the project. Um, the Panatoni structural engineer was unwilling to sign off on the tower, which is actually a standalone tower, but it had braces that attached to the building. And it would have required the structural engineer to sign off on it, that it's okay, and check the design and all that. And they were not willing to do that. And so we said, fine, you know, Ross's answer and, and came to us, and we said, fine, we'll carve this out and we'll treat it separate. But um, this has been part of the discussions from the design, throughout all the design phase, and was originally a part of the kind of part of, part of the design of the, uh, the initial footprint, but just because of some technical difficulties, October, November, somewhere in there, when we started looking at the footprint, where we're going to put it, and then what it, it, we, we talked about it conceptually, but we didn't actually have a design person come in and say, here's what the tower looks like, here's what it needs, you know, it's four foot by four foot by four foot concrete base, and then it's got two braces that come into the building. When we got to that point, Panatoni would not sign off on that, and so we, we opted to take it out. So this was something, I can follow up. Um, so this was something that was planned for but couldn't actually be begun until the building was completely finished? We'd actually agreed with Panatoni that we wouldn't do it till they're done and we're signed off, and it was our building. So that raises another question for me. If the structural engineer wouldn't sign off on it, aren't there structural concerns with ta attacking this onto the building? There really isn't uh, because it's a standalone tower. It's designed to stand alone. All they were was just it's added an added dimension. I, I'm not sure why they made an issue out of it. We, we never could figure that out. Okay, one last question. In the meantime, you said you've missed a couple of calls. So what was the outcome of those? Uh, well, fortunately, we have a contract with our neighbors and our neighbors came down and handled them for us and called us afterwards and asked us, Where were you? What's the deal? Yeah. Thank you.